Hmm, what could we possibly do with this square? Well, if you remember last week, we were learning about solar power. This week, we're going to learn about a different type of power, wind power. And a cool way to witness the power of wind is to make a pinwheel. The first thing you do when you're making a pinwheel is you cut out a square. Make sure that it's not too big or too small. The square that I have shown here is about 8 inches on each side. The next step is to fold opposite corners together. Make sure you do this very carefully and that the corners match up perfectly. And then push down on the folded area to make a crease. If you have done this properly, the two creases will look like this. The next step is to measure from the center of the square out to the corners. This square was pretty easy. It was six inches from the center of the square where the creases meet out to the corners. Then what you want to do is make a mark one third of the way out to the corner. So all I had to do, if you see the pencil marks here, they're two inches away from the center. Once you have drawn the pencil marks, you simply cut from each corner to the nearest pencil mark, as shown here. Once you are done cutting, you're ready for the next step. This step can be the trickiest, but if you listen carefully, I have confidence that you can complete it. So here's what you do. You pull every other corner towards the center, as shown here. Make sure that the corners overlap a little bit in the center. You'll see why in just a moment. But remember, every other corner, otherwise it won't work properly. We are now ready to use our push pin. Be careful not to poke yourself. Push the push pin directly through the center of the square where the four corners are meeting. If you flip it over, you can see that you have done it properly if it is poking out where the creases meet. The sharp part of the push pin is going to help us yet again. Simply grab a pencil and push the push pin directly into the center of the eraser, like I have done here. Now our pinwheel is complete. It will work like a windmill. If you blow lightly into the pocket where the arrow is pointing, it will spin around and around. Wind energy can be used for a lot of different things. People use it for pumping water, producing electricity, you could even use it to sail a boat around the world. The possibilities are nearly endless. The best thing about it, Mother Nature provides it to us for free.